one of the most overused words next to satanic, communist, Marxist, evil, the usual ones that are used with, with I mean, hyper normal frequency is psychopath. The notion of the psychopath. You know, what is the psychopath? And people always think that the psychopath is a killer. Not all killers are psychopaths. Not all psychopaths are killers. Psychopathy is a completely different concept. This is heads and hearts disconnected. This is a different thing. This is a a feeling, a um, well, more than a feeling. It's 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 a it's a behavioral anomaly, a a psycho psychological <clears throat> operationally behavioristic anomaly, that's Joe Biden. Now, as a self-appointed expert on the subject, I'm hereby going to tell you why Joe Biden is the typical, the, the, the profound, the epitome or the epitome, the quintessence of the political psychopath. And, and how he is just, the more you get into what a psychopath truly is, that sociopath, let's go full-blown psychopath. I'm saying almost, you know, born this way. The more you understand what that is, the more you understand how incredibly vile and putrescent this man's personally, personality is, as evinced by the psychopathy. Let me explain. But first, let me ask you, if you would, if you could, to please like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell so you're notified of of new videos and the like. And now, more importantly, I ask you to listen very carefully to the sagacious and the sapient and the wise words from our sponsor. The U.S. dollar has lost 85% of its value since the 70s when the dollar decoupled from gold. And the government seems bent on continuing the tradition. From now until after the next elections, the government can print as much money as they want. And the last time they did that, inflation went up 9%. This means one thing. The security of your future and your family's future is all in your hands. Make sure you freeze the value of your wealth that you are holding. Invest in gold with noble gold investments. Gold is the one asset that has proven to withstand recession, inflation, and just about all economic threats. Noble Gold Investments is here to help you. If you want to invest in gold, you will also get a 24 karat quarter ounce gold standard coin for free. So go to noblegoldinvestments.com right now. Noblegoldinvestments.com. Tell them Lionel sent you. This is the only gold company I trust. And remember, there's always a risk of investment and there's no guarantee of any kind. All right, dear friends, the psychopath. I want you to imagine this. I want you to imagine the feeling that you feel when you are doing something bad or when you could get caught or when you realize that you are doing something that violates your sense of morality. Now, most of the time you would say, I... I don't do a lot of things like that because I, I tend not to violate my sense of morality and the like. That's a very good point. But, but imagine if you would. Imagine when you lie. You don't want to lie. I mean, lie about things that matter because you might get caught. You might hurt somebody's feelings. You might lose a job. You might get arrested. You might do this. And the thing is, your head the part that sees this, that computes the circumstance of the result, the consequence, the part that says, oh, I see, if I, if I steal, I'll get caught. If I lie, I'll let people down, I'll lose a job. And the heart that reacts to it, they're disconnected. You see, what if you knew, well, I shouldn't steal this because I could get caught. I could lose my... Blah, 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 blah. But there's no reaction. 
You you don't fear it. There's no sense of alarm. That's the thing that the psychopath doesn't have, that head and heart connection. It doesn't mean anything. Psychopaths can be wonderfully brave. Why? Because they'll say, well, I'll get him. I'm hit. Sarge, I'll get him. He's so brave. No, he's not. He doesn't recognize fear. The head and heart, he realizes, well, I'm going to go get him. Or if I get him, I'll be a hero or I'll get a medal or I'll whatever it is. But there's no fear. There's no terrible, terrible chess players. There's no sense of, well, if I do this, I'm going to get caught. Now, these psychopaths are really, I mean, it's difficult. You know, we talk about this Gilgo killer, this Gilgo beach killer. Is he a psychopath? Probably, but not necessarily. You can look at some of the, the worst despots of all time, including that one guy who looked like Charlie Chaplin. And he may very well not be a psychopath because there are some people who can just do things and you might just call them evil. There might be somebody who says, no, I kind of like this. I'm kind of a sadist or, or, or people in their own mind say, I'm doing this because part and parcel of this behavior of mine as a despotic leader, as a warrior, as whatever, is killing people. I've rationalized this. Joe Biden sees no heart. There's no sense of reaction. There's no, nothing holds him back. The lying, the lying. Only a psychopath could lie without the slightest trouble. Pass a lie detector test. Look at you and say like, I've, I don't, I've never discussed what my son does for a living. You what? I've never discussed. Are you telling me? Yes. Yes. You know, my son Hunter died in Iraq. No, he didn't. Oh, yes, he did. Now, don't give me this bit about, well, he's so demented. No, he's not. That's a cover or anything. He's also building a tremendous defense in the event he's ever prosecuted. Because look at him. He's vegged. That's Joe. What are you going to do? He's a psychopath. Want to be nice? He's a sociopath. Nothing. No connection. I've been here 50 years. I don't care about I don't care about anything. I don't care about Trump. I don't care if you crush people. I don't care if you destroy lives. What do you want me to say? What do you mean to say about what? COVID, about this? I'll do it. Whatever. I'll read it. Sure. You want to just end this uh, thing in Afghanistan? Okay. Who do we have? Who are these people? What are they? Gold star families? What are these people called? What are they? Oh, they, they lost? They lost? Uh, oh, okay. They lost people in the head. I understand what happened. Heart. Maybe I should feel guilty. This is terrible. This is horrible. No heart, no reaction. Oh, okay. Then, Mr. President, these are the people who, whose family members, in essence, died because of your terrible reaction. Oh, okay. I'm responsible for that. Okay. Bring them in. Hi, how are you? You know, my son, Bo. Are you doing that again? Yeah, dude, I like that story. But it's a lie. <laughs> Maybe. I like it. You know, Corn Pop was a bad dude. Who? Corn Pop. Are you lying? Yeah, I'm lying. Why? Because I don't give a damn. I don't have any, that part that you normally feel when being embarrassed. Yeah. You know, I uh, graduated at the top of my class. No, you didn't. Well, I did. Yeah, I did. Sure, I did. He's been lying his whole life. And people call him whoppers. No, he's a pathological, psychopathological liar. He doesn't care. He doesn't respond. Mr. President, you can say, oh, yeah, I can. <laughs> I can say exactly what you better believe I can say that. And I'm going to say that. Yep. That's me. That's what I'm going to say. And there's nothing you can do about it. 
because I don't care. And your son, what about my son? Joe, you, Hunter, Hunter is, what about it? You you said that you never talked to Hunter. Yeah, I know. Is that true? I don't know. I don't care. But you've got Bobolinsky, you've got Devin Archer, you've got all these others, you've got this new one. They came and they met with you. You're the big guy. Mm-hmm. You're the one in the in the in the email that they talked to. You're the ten percent. You're he's doing this. Mm-hmm. He's he's giving you up. Everybody knows you're lying. Don't you care? I I don't feel it. I oh, you call it what do you call it a lie? Look, I've been in politics for fifty years, and you know. Um, one man's lie is another man's uh, reality. And, uh, you know, that's, did I tell you about my son, Bo? You know, he died in Iraq. Mr. President, please stop saying that. No, I like the story. But it's a lie. Well, maybe. Maybe it's a lie to you. But I know. I got 81 million votes. You did? Yeah, sure. I sure did. Mr. President, you, Kamala Harris, what about her? She's incompetent. Don't you feel any embarrassment? Do, what did you say? Do I feel? I don't feel anything. I'm a psychopath. I don't feel anything. I don't. I don't. I'll do whatever has to be done. Whatever benefits me. I'm glib. I mean, not, you know, the hair test for psychopathy. I mean, I'm it. I mean, this guy is, he is so, he knows how to pat you on the back. And when it comes to women, oh, I don't care. Why? Because I don't have any, I do whatever I want. I'm a predator. I'll go up and grab kids and, and basically molest them in front of people. Why? Because that part, the heart, it's not connected. It doesn't, it's cold. It's dead. It doesn't react. I don't feel shame. I don't feel, I don't feel anything. Do you not understand it? Think about what I've said. People are, oh, don't you think you're being a little harsh? Do I think I'm being a little harsh? No, I think I'm being kind. At least I'm I'm giving it a name. Other people would call him a sick SOB, and but at least I'm giving him something that sounds somewhat clinical. But be not mistaken, this guy is just, he's not human. He's just, I mean, you know. And he doesn't care one way or another about what you think. You understand that? You understand? Good. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of this. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Please hit that little bell so you're notified of new streams and new videos. And don't forget to, to always, always, always honor, honor our... Dear, dear sponsor, they're good people. You should listen to them and follow everything they say. And I'd love to see what your thoughts. You think, do you agree with me? Do you have your, what are your thoughts? Put them down below. Write, comment, comment as you see fit.